I mean, so I've traveled over to legal porno and done triple anal. Uh, so that, to me, was probably the most hardcore thing I've done there. Um, I've done some really intense bondage things uh, over the years where I've done crazy suspensions, being suspended from just my boobs, that sort of thing. Uh, but as far as the hardcore, I'd say that, that triple anal was probably the thing that was the craziest. Um, okay, so I have two questions Yes. For that. Uh, one is how, and you can show me with your hands, but <laughs> Triple anal, how does that work exactly? Oh, well, um, it's three penises in one butthole. That's my butthole. Um, and usually the way it ends up working is that I, uh, some guy is laying down flat on the couch, and I straddle him in like a regular cowgirl, and then bend all the way over so my chest is on his chest. And then another guy gets up and goes monkey on top of us. So which is so he's got his feet kind of up and over. His whole body is up and over mine. So there's one dick coming in here, one dick coming in from here, and then one guy kind of stands by the couch, and and it's really quite gay if you think about it. Um, so like the third dick is basically not touching my butthole really at all. He's just kind of fucking the space left in between the other two dicks. Is there somebody else in there fucking, like your mouth, or is it? I, maybe, yeah, I mean, at that point it's kind of a free-for-all. Um, yeah, at that point, usually there's, they could be up to three other people. Um, could be one guy in my mouth, and then I've still got two hands free. Um, so if really we're that short on holds, um, I can handle six guys all at once, just me. Is it overwhelming at all? Is it, like, how do you feel when you're doing it, really? Like, how? Uh, genuinely, I find it delicious. Um, it is overwhelming in all of the best ways. Like, that's part of why, it's part of why you seek this sort of stimulation out, is that it's way too much in all of the best ways. I, my favorite number is more. Um, so, Anytime that it's like, oh, a little bit is good. Well, more would be better. Um, and so, yeah, it is overwhelming. There are some times that I have to, uh, to like call pause for just a minute, just to do a little bit of Lamaze breathing and like, wow, this is, it's a big stretch. I mean, uh, not to get the wrong kind of graphic, but we've all had poops occasionally that we were like, I don't know that that's actually going to happen like that's a big old that's a big old poop um and so it's kind of that stretch except it's also very erotic like there's all this all this sex stuff going on around it um and once once you feel like once you, once you know it's all a mental trick learning how to relax that muscle and getting that, that sphincter under voluntary control instead of involuntary control. But once you know how to relax it, then it just becomes a matter of a mental thing. And once it gets to be two dicks or three dicks, or I've even seen some girls do more than that, three dicks and toys on top of all of that, it is it just becomes a little bit of how do I stretch this further? How do I make it go just a little bit more? What's what's the where's the tension coming from in my body that is making this tight? And how can I find that and and relax it? I don't think most people know how triple really works <laughs> no. and how a gangbang really works. Okay, so you flew out to this company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they, in, they, they're in Prague. You're meeting people that are strangers that you're about to have sex with in a, an extreme way. How does how does your day kind of start? So let me talk you through my first experience going over there and doing double anal because it was a bit eye opening for me, even with all of these, you know, almost 20 years at that point of doing extreme sex and extreme sex things. That first day was a little overwhelming in all the best ways. So I had flown in the night before and it takes about 20 to 25 hours in total transit time from here to there by the time that you've changed planes and had a layover and blah, 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 blah. Do you have a special diet before you do anal or something like this? And how does 25 hours of travel affect that? Right, I mean, I have a special diet, I'm celiac. Um, so I'm the bad kind of gluten-free, where I really need to be gluten-free. 
Um, so other than that, I don't have a special anal prep diet. I shoot probably four or five anal scenes a month and I do anal in my private life probably two or three times a week. So I kind of am always in that mode. And I come to a place that is literally on the opposite side of the world. Um, as in we're 11 hours time shifted. Um, which that's always a nightmare to figure out how you're going to sleep that first night or two. Because uh, it doesn't feel like sleep, it feels like the middle of the day. And vice versa, when you get up in the morning, it feels like it's the middle of the night. I got in, I don't know, about 8 o'clock that night. Um, and I'm hyped and I'm nervous and they put me in the... Uh, so I get to go to my room, I have my own little private room um, at, the, at the studio location. Um, and mostly I'm just trying to figure out how to get myself to sleep. I don't even think I really slept super great. I don't think I got to sleep until 2 or 3 in the morning. And my call time the next morning was at 8.30 in the morning. So I get up, they put a face on me, and most of these guys are from the Czech Republic or from Europe. Very, very few of them. I think maybe two of the guys that I've met over there ever speak good English. Uh, mostly they speak a smattering of English, uh, but not really enough to carry on a conversation. Same thing with the cameraman. Um, so here I am, I'm showing up to do, I've never done double anal. They've booked me for it as if I know what I'm doing. And there's a little bit of in this business, you know, you fake it till you make it. And I was pretty sure I could do it. Like it's, I've done penis and fingers. I've done, you know, I've stretched myself out pretty good. I've taken big, big things. How hard can it be? We'll figure it out. But I show up and so here I am trying to make a connection with these five guys uh, who are going to be my, my co-talent for the day. And I find out none of them really speak any English. So that was a little bit like, I, I'm just kind of smiling and looking pretty and they're all, you know, half smiling back at me, half ignoring me. Like there's a funny, they don't want to come up and get all grabby on me. Um, and I don't even know how to convey to them that no, I'd like for you to come and get all grabby on me. Like that's the way I would prefer to run things a little bit. I like to start the, start the chemistry a little bit before sex starts. But I appreciate that they, you know, if they don't have any information one way or the other, I appreciate when guys would rather be respectful and make sure they're not being sex pests. Even though for me, like I would have, so we were all just kind of standing around. The cameraman comes in. And he knows enough English just to do shoots, basically. So he can say, come, or away, or he can say gape. He knows how to say gape, and he knows how to say eyes, like give your eyes to me. Which, I don't know how much more he knew, like it's Gonzo, it's not like we're talking a lot. He doesn't really know a lot. So here we've got this huge language barrier, and. Okay, we're gonna do this. And they have got me all dressed in a sexy outfit and he has to pantomime for me like, okay, well here's how we're gonna do the intro. Like, he says, okay, I want you to like walk a little bit and then, and then, you know, just kind of do sexy things. Um, oh, oh, so yeah, okay, I do a little bit of that and he goes, okay, it's good, it's good, it's good. And then I want you to walk over to this couch and then go doggy. Okay, I can do this. So I walk to the couch, I could do doggy and as soon, almost as soon as I get into position, about 20 seconds later, he goes, okay, first guy, anal. Okay, I guess we're just, no, no pussy sex at all, okay? I guess, first guy, anal, but I'm a trooper. The first guy comes in and slides right into my ass like nobody has touched my pussy or anything like that. And it was delicious, and I, I started, mm, mm, mm. And I get about 30 seconds into this, and the cameraman goes, okay, second guy, anal. And so the second guy walks in, and the, the first guy doesn't step out, which I don't know what I was expecting. Still, none of these people, I haven't like had a conversation in English with any of these people, and suddenly I am immediately, within two minutes of rolling video, we're doing double anal. It was double anal for 45 minutes. It was a lot. It was, uh, and my butthole survived. It was good. I have, I, we finished rolling. I took four minutes worth of shower 
and within 10 minutes after we'd stopped rolling, I was dead asleep. Usually I have to recover a little bit afterward, but I have never just like, and she's done. When you did triple anal, yes. was it essentially the same thing except third guy in? Uh, yeah, with triple anal, they're a little bit, they, with both the viewers and the, and the guys, know that it's uh, what I like to call a stupid human trick. You're pushing your body to what are, what's the limits even for these girls who are quite good at it. Uh, triple anal is a lot of anal, so it's not quite exactly like I just described. It's not going to be 45 minutes of triple anal all the way through because it's hard to get all of the feet arranged. The penises are no problem, but getting all the feet where they need to be in triple anal is a bit of a skill. So it does become more of a group effort, more of a, as we pause, they'll say, okay, next, triple anal. And we all go, okay, uh, and we kind of work out how the positioning's gonna go. And so then when we're ready, they'll, so there's a little bit more warning. You'd never done double anal before or triple anal before that? I'd never done double anal before, no. Sitting down after? I've had more trouble sitting down after other shoots. I had one that was particularly memorable where I went over to the UK and did two solid days, 12 hour days, of disciplinary spanking and caning and slippering, which sounds like it should be nice and fuzzy, but when they say slipper, they mean like a, a converse shoe, which hurts like shit. Two full days of that ending in a full on disciplinary 30 stroke English caning. And then they bundled me right back up and put me on a plane right back to Los Angeles. That was really gnarly because there was nothing to do but sit down, but I didn't want to sit down on my own butt. With the double anal, everything's a little tender in all of the best ways, but it doesn't actually, maybe because I have so much junk in my trunk, like I still have a lot of cushion to sit down on that's just glued. So it doesn't actually hurt because my sphincter's never in contact with actual surface. Just a little bit.